and welcome to your Wednesday work experience week session. Hopefully you've had a really good day on Monday learning about soft skills. Thank you to those of you who've sent your resources in to me. They are absolutely phenomenal. So if you haven't done that, please do send them over so I can award you those house points and those feel good Friday phone calls. Hopefully you've made use of the BBC Bite Size and the UCAS links um, on Monday as well to explore different careers. So well done for those two. And hopefully yesterday you had the opportunity to interact uh, with our speakers that we had lined up throughout the course of the day. And if you weren't able to attend those, hopefully you've made really good use of the Learn Live video index and um, that link was shared with you. And again, that will be there for the next 12 months. So if you haven't been able to access it yet, then it's still there for you to use. Your focus today then is going to be on CV writing and a 30 second pitch. So I'm going to talk to you about each of those things individually, first of all, and I'm going to start with your CV. So in the blue speech box that's popped up, your CV is the first chance you get to make a good impression on a potential employer. A top quality CV will considerably boost your chance of getting a face to face interview. So it is worth spending time and effort on the content and presentation. It will make all the difference in obtaining the position you want. You must therefore highlight your skills, expertise and value. And hopefully if you've taken part in those sessions on Monday and Tuesday, you'll be much more adept at talking about your skills, particularly those soft skills, talking about your areas of expertise and interest and what you can add to a potential workplace. So the first thing you're going to do then is open up a blank Word document. And number two, in the two links below that are going to pop up now for you, you'll find information about how to create a CV, which is what you'll be focusing on. You've got a BBC Bite Size link there and a link to a website called Save the Student. So use those links. They give you fantastic information, breakdowns and examples of brilliant CVs to help you. Number three, make sure you save a copy of your CV in your area so you can come back to this in year 11. So what you create today, you are going to be using um, and helping you to apply for different college placements or apprenticeships or whatever it is that you're moving on to in the future. So that's your CV. The final thing then is your elevator pitch. So in light of our current climate with COVID-19, what you'll have noticed no doubt already is that so many things around us are changing and adapting and evolving to suit the current climate. And the elevator pitch has all of a sudden become much more popular than it's ever been before as a way of pitching yourself and showing yourself off to a future employer, but in a really quick and succinct way. So your fourth thing then, you could also try creating your 30 second elevator pitch to sell yourself. So I'm going to share with you two links that are going to help you to do that. OK, so the first one is a YouTube link and that will take you to a five minute video with examples of elevator pitches and a step by step um, instruction on different headings and things to include. And then the second one um, there is from Indeed.com and that will give you a detailed breakdown with instructions on how to create your own. So the first one is that visual example. The second one has much more detail to help you create your 30 second pitches. And what would be really fantastic would be either with your CV or your 30 second elevator pitch, if you could send those in to me, if you don't want to, that's absolutely fine, because obviously, especially your elevator pitch, that's incredibly personal to you. So you may not feel entirely confident to do that. But your CV, please definitely do send those in because we can give you feedback on those and help you to develop them further. And again, just that reminder, anything that you've got that you've created on Monday and on Tuesday, please do send it over so I can make sure you get your house points and your Feel Good Friday phone calls that you deserve. So that's Wednesday. Take the time to go through that properly. Don't rush. Send those things in to me so that we can give you feedback on them and have a great day.